What's up, YouTube? It's your Deja, aka Day. D to the A to the E. D to the A to the E. Ooh, yeah. What's up, y'all? I am back with another video. Today, video, y'all, let's just hop straight into it, y'all. My hair was looking a hot mess before I got into this point right here. This is my hair back to life, and y'all, I'm telling y'all, I had not been keeping up with my hair, but now look at it. Y'all, I have not given y'all. I have not given y'all a hair video in a minute, so please stay tuned, y'all. And I hope to see you by the end of the video. Yeah, so let's get into the video, y'all. Look at my head, looking like some french fries. Y'all, I have not done anything to my hair. I have been so busy, I have not been able to even deep condition my hair. I'm being a bad natural hair guru right now. <laughs> like. I've been out all these tips and I have not been doing my hair. If I could be honest, I've not been doing none of that. I need to get it together, y'all. Like, look at my head. Look, like, look at it. Like, I need to get it together. There's gonna be a hair maintenance vlog. So I'm gonna be getting my life together, doing a little deep conditioning and stuff like that, y'all. Not even my nails are done. Like, they look bad. I would take y'all in the shower with me, but people don't tell y'all how much it takes to have somebody in the shower with them. Like, having the camera in there. Y'all, it always fogs up. You gotta keep wiping it off, then pause it and wipe it off. Do all this, like, I won't do that. I, I'll do that video another day. If y'all want that video, let me know. Drop it down in the comment section right now. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure the notification bells are on, baby, so you get my next upload. Y'all, I'm finna go ahead and hop in the shower, and then when I come out, I'll show y'all what it's looking like, and then we can get into the hair maintenance vlog because we gotta redo this hair. Like, what? I'm gonna show y'all what products I use in the shower as well whenever I get out the shower. Um, but yeah, just stick along with me for the ride, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm out the shower. I let my hair air dry just a little bit. Uh, this is what it's looking like, y'all. I do got my glasses on so I can see because a girl is blind and I haven't ordered no contacts and I need to. So, anyway, I'll show y'all what I used when I was in the shower. So, I used Olaplex today. What I'm gonna use for my deep conditioner today is a Shea Moisture. I'm going to sit under the dryer for a little bit and let it soak in on the directions because I'm bad at reading directions. For deeper treatment, cover hair with a plastic cap and apply moderate heat for up to 30 minutes. So if you're not using heat, they say only use up to five, leave, your, leave it in your hair up to five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my hair. Look at that consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my hair today. So I'm gonna just section this. Let me see, does it say put in damp hair? Wet hair. Okay y'all, so it says to wet hair apply a generous amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and section this part off. That way I can wet my hair in the right. Places. Ooh, my elbow a little ashy. Don't mind. So this is a bottle I got from Target uh, for three dollars. I just put some distilled water in it. It's a little a hair product funny, but um, it's distilled water with lavender essential oil um, and also tea tree oil I just wanted to put some good oils in my hair some refreshing oils so it says to wet hair so I'm trying to get my hair as wet as possible
Okay, y'all, so that is the timer right there. Right there, oh, it went off. But the timer just ended and I just got from under the dryer. Y'all can probably hear the birds chirping in the back because I have my window open. The birds are going crazy, y'all, because I, I told y'all it's ice outside. But anyways, let's take this off, see what it's looking like. Oh, it's feeling very moisturized. Look, look at that. Very moisturized. It's time to rinse it out. I'm just gonna take these twists down real quick and go rinse it out. Okay, y'all. All right, the hair's looking very moisturized. Very much so. All right, now I'm gonna go rinse it out and then we can start styling my hair. I kind of don't even want to style it with no gel because it's like, I just want my hair to breathe, like, you know what I mean? I probably just want to put some even conditioner in it and just let it be. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need it to last for days or anything like that, so I don't need gels to be in my hair, so. It should be fine. I'm just gonna rinse this out. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna try my best to get this in the camera. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But I wanted y'all to be able to see me rest it out since I didn't show y'all when I was in the shower. So yeah, my face is wet now. But it's okay. Okay y'all, so my hair is all rinsed out. This is my natural hair, y'all. Y'all always see with products and stuff in it. So y'all haven't seen my hair in a minute because I haven't posted any hair videos like that. Um, not long ones at least. So my hair has grown out quite a bit since I've seen it. This is my hair with no products in it. I'm about to get a um, leave-in conditioner to put my put some leave-in conditioner in my hair. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pin it up until I go find which leave-in conditioner I wanna put in my hair. I'm just gonna leave that leave-in conditioner in. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need any gel or anything. So bear with me, let me go find the leave-in conditioner. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some Miela leave-in conditioner in my hair. This is the And these two in my hair right now just to keep it still moisturized, but I'm not gonna put any gel in it. So I just need something lightweight for the leave-in conditioner, and then something that's gonna hold my hair in its state, which is gonna be that twist and souffle. This is a little bit of a heavier type of cream. And um, so that's what I'm gonna use in my hair. Just so my hair can like, just breathe. Uh, the brush I'm going to be going through my hair with is this brush right here. It is a Tangle Teaser brush. I can't remember the exact name of this type of brush. Bear with me. Just bear with me. Then I like to use a good amount of their leave-in conditioner because I feel like once I use a little bit more, it becomes a little bit more manageable with my hair.
see how the liner is without any gel. Like, look at that. Real cute. Okay, so I'm gonna like part my hair real quick. So I always do like a middle part, but I'm thinking maybe I should switch it up and do it to maybe like one side or a little bit more to one side. So I'm gonna do this right here. Part my hair right here. And this comb I just got from my hair store. Y'all. I did it from the hair store. So I do that. And that way it could be a little bit more on this side. Um, I think that'd be cute. I'm gonna put a little bit more cream right here. That way this won't be like too poofy right here. And I'm gonna like just swipe it back behind my ear like that a little bit. Um, Cause I want it to dry the right way. Then I'll probably lay my edges afterwards. But that way you can see my, you know. So I'm just gonna do that. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna put some more cream on the places I think that's gonna be really frizzy. Which you can see some right in this area. I'm just gonna separate the curl and put a little cream on it. I usually use my Dyson for blow drying. But instead, I'm going to use my Revlon because I think it's a little bit more less heat, which is going to cause a little bit less frizz. So let's get to diffusing. Honestly, whoever said not to use heat on your hair, they lie. Like, heat is good for your hair, especially when you have low porosity hair like me. Um, it allows your product to be absorbed into your cuticles um, if you have low porosity it's good to use heat like steaming your hair different stuff like that so just make sure that product get in to your hair um so it's just it becomes an issue when you use excessive heat like when you're straightening your hair every single day that's when you notice heat damage okay but you can't get heat damage for using hair you in fact need heat for your curly hair so Anyway, if y'all feel different, please leave it in the comment section below and let me know um, what y'all think about that. But this is my from my personal experience uh, for being natural and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get into blow drying. This is my diffuser right here. This is just, I said Revlon, but it's actually Remington. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do that. Um, I'm going to start off on heat setting low. And low. Okay, now that I feel like it's forming a good amount of cast on it, I am going to move these heat setting up by one. So it's gonna be on a medium heat. Uh, still uh, only on one. amount of air flowing out so I don't want it to get too poofy too quick definitely want that volume but I want it to form a cast on my hair on my curls so that way I can keep a certain amount of definition in my hair without using gel okay y'all I'm back this is my hair 100% dry y'all it looks so good so healthy very lightweight um look you can still tell that my hair is still defined the curls are still curling giving the girls what the girls need to be giving curls popping it is still cute it's not as weighed down which makes it easier for me to have more volume in my hair um instead of trying to go through all these changes to get more volume it is very volumized right now as you can tell real cute look at that y'all 
I feel like as they get a little bit older, it'll get even more volume, but this amount is amazing for a first day wash and go um, using no gel. But yeah, y'all, this concludes the video. Tell me if I brought my hair back to life or not. Y'all let me know, but I think I did, so. Anyway, before you leave this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure you turn on that notification bell, y'all, so y'all get my next upload. Until next time.